Hello guys, welcome to a new Get Wrecked gaming news video and yet again I have some spicy news for you guys today. I have new updates towards Persona 3 Remake. It might come out this year and Persona 6 might be, brace yourselves, a PlayStation 5 exclusive. And apparently there's also a Persona 5 spin-offs in the work for next year. So a lot of Persona stuff to go over in today's video. So sit back, relax, enjoy, take a beverage and let's get on with the news. I just made a video about Persona 3 Remake showing up at the Xbox showcase that it might show up there with the relationship that Xbox has been building over the past few years with Sega. And I thought it was a pretty interesting rumor and I covered that and I got a lot of support on that video. Also keep in mind, don't forget to comment in the comment section down below and I might feature you in the next video. Today we have a update towards those rumors for Persona 3 Remake that it might come out this year according to Nate the Hate. He's also talking about Persona 6 being a PlayStation 5 exclusive. This is all coming from his podcast. I have a short summary of it here on Reset Era. Rumor Persona 6 coming late 2024 current gen only likely at least timed ps5 only persona 3 remake later in 2023 at the xbox showcase and persona 5 spin off in 2024 the interesting part is that nate specifically cites that there won't be a playstation 4 version of the game which is a bold move from the perspective of japan but i guess 2024 is long enough of where Sega Atlas can afford to drop the PlayStation 4. Similar to what Tekken 8 is doing. With that said, even though Nate Hate has heard that Persona 6 is likely PlayStation 5 only as of when he checked in about it, he doesn't rule out the possibility of the game coming to Xbox. With that said, we should probably brace ourselves for PlayStation 5 exclusivity for Persona 6. Persona 3 Remake, on the other hand, looks to be multi-platform, given that Nate is backing up the reports of the game being revealed at the Xbox Showcase. So we have another insider here collaborating basically with the information that Persona 3 Remake will be announced at the Xbox Showcase. And he's saying that Persona 6 might be a PlayStation 5 exclusive and it might be even releasing at the end of 2024. So that's a lot of stuff right there. And there is a mystery Persona 5 um, spin-off, another one game. Uh, this might be like a Persona 5 arena fighting game. I, I believe Persona 4 did one, so... I think Persona 5 could do one as well, or maybe Atlas will just do something totally differently. But yeah, it's pretty interesting that Atlas would go for exclusivity with Persona 6 because Persona is basically becoming a bigger game and bigger franchise. And you would think from now on they would go multi-platform, bringing all these games to other platforms, Persona 4 Golden, Persona 3 FES, and Persona 5. Now at uh, basically every console, every platform, on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, Nintendo Switch. But apparently it looks like PlayStation gave them a back for Persona 6 at least. But that's not even sure. So the way he was talking in this podcast, I listened to it myself. And I did not find it very confidently. So there might still be some smoke up in the air if it is indeed a PlayStation 5 exclusive. He just heard it would be the last time he heard about it but that is pretty interesting so persona 3 uh, remake if you were afraid that it would be an xbox exclusive confirmed basically to be multi-platform and the reveal will be this year to be fair i did not see any announcement for persona 6 already now this year that might happen but i don't see it happen to be fair they already have the remake uh, they can just sh announce this remake, market the hell out of that and release it this year at the end of this year. The, I'm, if, I'm just happy that that is also a game for this year because this year has been so full already. I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom. I played so many other great games, Dead Space, Resident Evil, Like a Dragon, Ishin, 
and even more great games are coming out. Final Fantasy 16 is coming out next month. Starfield is coming in, in September and even more games than that. And if Persona 3 Remake is being added with that as well, that is just mind-blowing to me. And GOTY will be very hard, at least for me. Maybe for you it's a little bit easier. Uh, but yeah, it looks like for the plans for now at least are that we are going to see at least Persona 3 Remake getting announced now at the Xbox Showcase because that's going to release the end of 2023. Uh, that's at least to, according to Nate Hate and then Persona 6. There might be an announcement for it at the end of this year. It would be more realistic maybe if they do one of these concerts again at the end of the year. I could then see a teaser towards Persona 6. But to be fair, because he's saying maybe it releases at the end of 2024, I could see this game slipping into 2025. I'm kind of glad that they are dropping the PlayStation 4 version. I don't want Persona to be held back uh, graphically and power with its power. And I want to see Persona 6 as a full on fledged PlayStation 5 game. That would be awesome in my opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this news? I think it's pretty interesting. What do you guys think of Persona 3 Remake being this year? The fact that Persona 6 might be a PlayStation 5 exclusive and that it might be released in 2024, at least at the end of 2024. And uh, about this Persona 5 spin-off game, what could it be? Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of these rumors? Keep in mind, it's a rumor, but the fact that he's collaborating with the Persona 3 Remake stuff, I find that pretty interesting. We shall see what happens to Persona 6. It might be still a bit too early to speculate on it. Let's take a look at the comment of the day. My last video was the major PlayStation predictions video. I had a very funny comment. Uh, it's actually not about the playstation showcase itself but i thought this is a pretty fun comment to pick out where did you get the akatsuki cloud from dj flores yeah that's actually a very interesting question so you can see the, the akatsuki cloud from naruto i got it as a birthday gift i don't know if it was a birthday gift but it was a gift uh from my brother and it's actually a lamp i don't know if it can turn on Oh yeah, yeah, it's turning on. I always just forget to turn it on, but there is still some battery in it. And it's a funny thing, you know, it's a weak ass lamp, but hey, it's like a nice decorative thing in the background, even though there's a lot of shit here in the foreground as well. I never really care about background and foreground stuff for news videos. If I would maybe do a more important video, I would clean up some stuff, but I have to get these videos out pretty quickly so yeah that's why it's a mess <laughs> but thank you guys for commenting if you have your own comment you get a chance to be in the video so leave a good comment and i might feature you in the video thank you guys for watching as always like this video that would help me a ton subscribe to the channel if you want to see more gaming news leaks and related stuff like that i do that a ton and as well as persona because i love the persona franchise and of course don't forget to visit my social media in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next Get Rec Game News video. Bye bye.